What's good, y'all? I'm gonna give a quick breakdown on how Ty and I made the beat for All In. So like most of my beats, this one started out, which is a chord progression on the piano. So it just went like this. So it took me a while to build those chords. It wasn't like I just sat down and just played it like how I did now. But once I did build the chords and make the uh, chord progression, that's when I knew I had something that made it easy for me to build off that. So then coming in after that, I knew I wanted it to have a light feel, a vibey feel. So then I came behind it with simple bell line like this. And then right around this time, my boy Tahi, who's also a producer, he pulled up to the studio. Tahi got on, started working on it, and he ended up adding this flute bell type of sound on top of the melody that we have. With everything together, it sounded like this with the hi-hats. And so after we laid down that, I'm pretty sure if I if I remember correctly, I think I were I might have recorded with just that. Well, what you guys just heard. I don't think I even recorded the hook and everything with the full beat. So after that, I had a clear direction, was able to record. Then after that, Tai added the 808 and kick pattern, and he is that guy when it comes to those. And you know it ain't Bay Area if it don't got that signature. People call it. People like to call it a locker slam. I mean, I just call it a stomp, but yeah, it's like a little locker slam stomp sound. We threw that on there. So once he did that, uh, this is how it sounded. And then after that, we added a bass line to the beginning of it and then the end as well. I also added a vinyl filter to the beginning and the end just to give it, you know, a vinyl feel. And with the bass line as well, like it added a nice touch to it. And since I've been balling, and since I've been balling. 